guys, today I'm going to be packing for Mal. I have all of her items that I need to pack for her in this closet and I'm so excited to go through all of it. So, I'm going to be packing for her as if she were to pick up the newest AGOSF family member. So I've added a bunch of hints throughout this video or I've items that I'm going to pack for her. There's like a couple of hints there that you can figure out which doll it's going to be. So comment down below if you do figure it out because it'd be pretty cool to see if you guys do or not. And the question you guys can answer in the comment section down below is since Mal is from the Disney Descendants movie, which character do you prefer? Mal, Evie, or Uma? I can't decide personally. I think I'd have to go with Mal just because I have her as a doll and she is so cute and she is such a fun character. So let's get right into the video. So first off, let's take a look at this drawer here. It has a ton of extra accessories like her backpack and also her suitcase and a couple extra clothing items that aren't really from her movie or hanging up. So let's get right into it. So one of the most important items she needs to pack are her PJs. So here we have them. They're so cute. They're the color purple. A lot of the items that I tried to pack were purple because that's kind of like her color. They're the purple peacock PJ. So let's move them out of the way. And the place that she's going to is really hot and sunny, so I packed a couple of items that suit the weather. So we have this really gorgeous hat, it's so cute, it'll keep her nice and protected from the sun, and it's so much fun as well. Along with that, we also have some swimmers, they're purple too of course, and there's also some blue on it. They're really cute, they're from American Girl, and they'll be perfect to go swimming in the beach or the pool. The other item I'll be packing for her is a towel, and this is actually from Leah's collection. I love the coloring of it, and it's really handy to have. And I know I said she's going to a hot destination, but just in case if it's a little bit colder on the plane, I thought it'd be nice to pack this little beanie. It's really cute, and it goes with her outfits too. And this here are her bags. So we have her suitcase. So that would be really handy to have, especially since we're packing her items away, and also her backpack so we can pack all of her accessories too. One item that I did forget to pack is this little accessory here, and this is actually an accessory for her fancy dress. I'm not too sure if she'll end up wearing her fancy dress, but this will be really handy to pack in case if she does. The next item we will be packing away are shoes or items that we're going to be pulling out at least. The first item I think I'll pack are these purple flats in case if she does wear her fancy dress. They'll go perfect with them, so let's move them out of the way. And I think I'm only going to pack one pair of boots just because she doesn't need too many and she's already wearing really cool sandals that she can wear with other outfits too on the plane. So I think I might pack these ones just because they're a little bit smaller so they're easy to fit in the suitcase. I'll definitely be packing the rest of the items in the closet, so let's get right into it. So this is kind of like her entertainment section. So the first item we have is this really adorable little panda. I haven't shown you guys this panda in a while. It's actually from McKenna's collection. It is so cute and I really love it and this will be a perfect stuffed toy for Mel. And then we also have an iPod so she can listen to music on the plane or on the beach or anything like that. And then we have a travel journal so she can write down all of her memories. Moving right along, we have a magazine for her to read and also a laptop if she wants to do schoolwork or if she wants to go on YouTube or anything like that. This is the perfect item to pack. And last but not least, we have a card game. It's pretty fun to bring a card game or a board game on a vacation. So here we have Uno. The next section we're moving right along to is the travel accessory section. So things like her passport, toiletry bag, not really entertainment items, but must have items she needs to bring. So the first item I'm going to pack away is her sunglasses. They're tropical print and they're so cute. It's kind of like a hint to where she's going. And then we have an eye mask so she can sleep on the plane or while she's traveling around. And then this is kind of like an itinerary folder. Not really an itinerary, but it has her passport, her money, just all the items she needs to actually travel. And I'll show you guys what's inside. There's another hint in there as well. And then there's a toiletry bag. This has her sunscreen, lotion, toothbrush, toothpaste, hair ties, anything like that. And right in the back, there's just a couple more accessories too. There is a really cute purple bow to match her outfit and also a camera so she can take photos. So let's take a look at this top compartment. So I know Mal, the character, may not bring a mini doll on her trip, so my Mal doll definitely would. So let's see who she's bringing with her. She is bringing... Ruthie, and the reason why I packed Ruthie is because she's wearing a purple dress, and most of the items I'm packing are purple. 
And then we also have a hairbrush, and this is pretty important to bring. There's a couple of elastics on there as well, so I can use those. And then these are a couple of items themed to the movie. So I didn't really have a book that looked like her spell book, but a lot of you guys suggested I should have that for her. So I'm just going to pretend that this book here is her spell book. It kind of looks like it, but it doesn't have her like dragon logo on it. So I'm sorry. I tried to find something, but I really couldn't. And then this is the other item kind of themed to the movie. So in Descendants 2, she carries a little box around, has a lizard in it. I won't tell you any spoilers. That's all I'll say. But let's just pretend that this is the box. So of course she needs to bring this too. Mal will be packing three outfits with her, but that doesn't really include her PJs or her swimmers or anything like that, so let's take a look at it. She's also wearing her casual purple dress, so she's wearing that too on the plane. So this is the first item. This is her super fancy dress. I'm not too sure if she'll be wearing it because it's really fancy, but I'll bring it just in case. So let's lift it up and move it out of the way, and it is so pretty. I love it so much. And the next item we have is this really cute casual outfit from the movie. So there's green pants and there's also a purple shirt. And I might lift those up and move them out of the way because they're really hard to reach. And then those last three clothing pieces there are her original male outfit. We have the leggings, the undershirt, and the jacket on top. It's time to pack Mal's suitcase and backpack, so let's get right into it. This is the first item here. It's empty because I want to show you guys what I'm going to place inside of it because I couldn't really show you before when I was pulling it out. So the first item we need are tickets. So this, in fact, would be plane tickets. So let's place it inside. There we go. Moving right along, we have some money that can go over here. This is pretty important to have while traveling as well. There's her passport. She cannot forget to pack her passport. And the last item we have is a pamphlet of Hawaii. So let's put that away and we can close that and we can put that in the bag. And moving right along to the next item, we can put her laptop in her bag. I'm also going to place her magazine. And these are just basically all the items she'll need on the plane or while traveling. Her travel journal she might need, so let's put that in there her iPod, her eye mask, and I think I might pack her sunglasses in there, and maybe her beanie too. And I'm not too sure, maybe her bow if it fits. Let's try and put that in there. There we go, and I think that is everything she'll need. Oh no, I can't forget about her panda. Her panda should go in there. I'm not too sure if it will fit, it might not fit. Let's just put it in there and see if it does. Hmm, I don't think it will fit. Let's take it out. Let's just leave it out there so she can carry it with her mini doll too. So let's pack that up and I think her backpack is all ready to go. I nearly did forget to pack this item away and it is her spell book. I think I might place it right at the front so it's easy to pick up. So let's just put it in there and that fits perfectly. All of these clothes are all piled up because it is all about to go into Mal's suitcase and I just need to squeeze it shut and I'm pretty sure it will fit if I do try and get it in because this is quite a deep suitcase and I think everything will fit. So of course I need to pack her shoes and her other pair of shoes are down in the bottom there so I just need to try and close this bag. Mal's bags are all packed, but before she leaves, she wants to enjoy a snack, so she is nice and full. I have a couple of items for her to enjoy. Everything looks so delicious, so let's get right into it. We have some cookies, first off, and they look so yummy. She doesn't have to eat all of them, but they're just a couple there. And then there's a plate, and of course, I have to give her some strawberries because that is her favorite. We also have some apples too, and with the apple she can dip it in the caramel dip or the caramel dip. And to finish off, we have a glass of milk. So this will definitely make her nice and full just before we go out to the airport. Mal's snack was so delicious, and now that she's packed, she is all ready to go on her trip. I'm so excited because she is about to go pick up the newest member of the HOSF family. She is so cute. I've added a ton of hints throughout the video for you guys to guess, so make sure you comment down below to guess who it is. And the other question that I asked right at the start of the video is, who is your favorite character out of Mal, Evie, and Uma? I know I asked who was your favorite Disney Descendants character before in my last video, but this one kind of narrows it down a bit, so you have to decide between those three. I would personally say Mal because I have the Mal doll and I love her so much. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I really hope you guys enjoyed it.